Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what Golden Boy is trying to do here. As they're trying to set up Devin Haney to lose to Jorge Linares. Now hear me out. I know people are going to say, Lenar has got no chance. He's washed. He's been knocked out five times. Yada, yada, yada. Devin Haney's the boogeyman lightweight division, even though he's done jack shit in his career, has been gifted belts, has beaten nobody, hasn't even beaten a Luke Campbell in his career yet. Doesn't even have a Luke Campbell on his resume. What's uh, Gamboa's, I mean, Devin Haney's best win? A wash Gamboa who done jack shit in the lightweight division? Are you going to tell me Jorge Linares doesn't have any chance of winning this fight? Now, this is what Golden Boy is trying to do. They obviously don't want Ryan to fight Devin Haney next, even though he's the mandatory to his gifted belt, fake championship title, whatever you want to call it, his gifted WC title. And it is what it is. I mean, Ryan's got options. He can fight who he really wants. I mean, he doesn't have to fight Devin Haney. It wouldn't be a good look if he doesn't fight Devin Haney, but he's got star power. He has bragging rights. He has options, and he has opponents lining up to fight him in the lightweight division, like a Javier Fortuna. Now, this is what Golden Boy is trying to do. Haney has a mandatory that's been ordered. However, Ryan Garcia is not interested in fighting Devin Haney next. Feels there are bigger fights out there besides a Haney fight, even though there is significant money to be made in this fight because the zone is involved and Devin Haney's getting the zone bags. So the money is there, but it could even be a bigger fight later down the line if they both keep winning. Now, they're trying to, Golden Boy is trying to make Haney take this fight because they're trying to set up a Ryan Garcia Javier Fortuna fight. Now I know Ryan's gonna say he doesn't want that fight, this and that. He wants the biggest fights possible. But at the end of the day, it's Golden Boy's final decision on who he who and when he fights next. It's their it's their decision who he fights next. So they're trying to make Fortuna to take away that mandatory for Haney. Haney could fight Fortuna still, but it depends on what Fortuna wants to do. Does he want to go after Haney? Does he want to go after a more higher profile name? I mean, what is the offers on the table? Is he getting more money to fight Ryan? Is he getting more money to fight Devin Haney? All that goes into consideration of what, what Fortuna does here. Now, he could opt to just fight Ryan Garcia. So that means Devin Haney is in need of a significant fight because Golden Boy is taking away both of his mandatories. Haney needs a significant fight next. There's just no way he can he can just go in there and fight and under another another opponent who's unknown or another washed opponent who's done nothing in the lightweight division or just fight another no hoper in his next fight. So he needs a name, he needs a former champion, he needs a significant fight, he needs a decent opponent. Fortuna fits that bill, but Ryan Garcia, well, Golden Boy is trying to set up Ryan to fight Fortuna. So what does David Haney do next? Ryan doesn't want to fight him next. They're trying to take away Fortuna, one of his mandatories, who's a decent fight for him. What would be a decent fight for him? So Golden Boy is offering Jorge Linares in hopes that they can make a deal. And even though Linares is past his best, he's 35, he's... He's a three-division champion. He's won titles in the lightweight division. He's had significant wins in his division. And it's the perfect style for Jorge Linares. I mean, this fight, to me, is a more difficult fight for Haney than fighting Javier Fortuna. Fortuna is a, an aggressive fighter. He's sloppy defensively. He's a, he's a lot shorter. He's more of a aggressive puncher. It's an easier fight for Devin. But against Jorge Linares... He's a stylist, he's got speed, he's got length, he's got physicality, he's got punching power, he's got loads of experience, and he's been in there with the best. And he still has some left physically, even though he's been knocked out five times. But that's the thing about Jorge Linares, it doesn't phase him. He gets knocked out, 
He gets back up. He wins another big fight. Gets knocked out. Gets back up. Wins another big fight. It's, it's He's been doing that throughout his whole career. And this is a winnable fight for Jorge Linares. He's fighting a, a young, untested kid. He's young. He's fresh. He's got ability. He has boxing skills, but he's not a big puncher. He's not a knockout artist. So what's the worst that can happen here? Linares loses a close decision or gets... Or he gets outboxed badly. It's not a fight that I would put my money on that Devin Haney's going to knock Jorge Linares out. It will most likely be a decision fight. But it's a perfect fight for Linares. To fight a guy who's not a puncher, who's not an aggressive fighter. He likes to play tag of you in the ring. Perfect style for Jorge Linares. And Devin Haney, it's a win if he looks good and makes a statement in the fight. But it will be bad if he doesn't do nothing in the fight and does another has another Gamboa type of performance. But he can't have another Gamboa type of performance in this fight. Linares has actually accomplished something in the lightweight division. And he is still motivated. He still has passion for, for the sport. Still trains almost every day. So, to me, it's a dangerous fight for Devin Haney. Linares will be the underdog, but stylistically, it's the perfect fight for Linares to pull off an upset here. I mean, Haney's done nothing in his career. He still needs to prove that he's a legitimate contender, let alone a champion. And this is what Golden Boy's trying to do, man. They're trying to set him up to take a tougher fight. A style that's not the easiest style to deal with. And he's going to be fighting a boxer instead of a aggressive power puncher who is sloppy and who's never won a world title and has been defeated before in the lightweight division. So to me, people will say Fortuna is a better fight, but Lenar is, is the more accomplished fighter here. He's the one that's actually done something in the division, has won titles in the division, has significant wins under his resume. Something Fortuna has yet to do in his career. So, of course, what, are they, what they're waiting on is the approval of the WBC. The WBC has to approve all of this. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure the WBC is not really all that pleased. I mean, they're ordering these fights, and then they're not happening. They ordered Devin Haney to fight uh, Ryan Garcia. And there's no movement on that. That's not happening. So instead, they're trying to swap the opponents. But they're trying. It's for Golden. It's for Golden Boy's benefit, though. They're trying to take away both of Devin Haney's mandatories, and in return, they're offering him a more dangerous fight compared to a Fortuna fight. A guy that can box, that has, that stylistically could be a tougher matchup for Devin Haney. To me, it's a great fight. I like the fight. I'd rather see this fight than the, the Javier Fortuna fight. To me, it's a more dangerous fight because stylistically, it'll be a tougher matchup for Devin Haney. And I'd like to see if he could... Uh, he's got to show me something in this fight. He's got to show me something. I need a better performance compared to the Gamboa fight. And I wouldn't count Linares out. I think it's a great matchup for him. He's not going to be in there with a puncher. He's not going to be in there, with, in there with a knockout artist. He could surprise some people with this fight, man. I know what Golden Boy is doing. They feel Linares has a style and the ability to outbox Devin. And since Devin's not a big puncher, they're not really too overly concerned that Devin can knock him out. Or maybe he can. But from what he showed in his last fight, it doesn't seem like he's going to be hunting for any, any, any type of highlight real knockout victory anytime soon. He's more of a boxer. He's more of a a uh, mover. He's more of a a guy that plays tag with you in the ring. But to me, that's that's the perfect style for Linares to try to get an upset victory and pick up that fake WBC strap and then try to make a Ryan Garcia fight later this year. That's the goal. That's the plan. Golden Boy making chess moves trying to eliminate Devin Haney's mandatories, and as a result, 
the main goal is to try and eliminate Devin Haney altogether and have Linares upset Devin Haney and pick up his strap in hopes of making a Ryan Garcia Linares fight later this year. Well, that's the goal. That's the plan. Let's see if it comes to fruition. The WC could turn this down and just say, no, Devin Haney has to fight one of his mandatories. Either that's Ryan or Fortuna. So that's the scenario that's being played out here. They're waiting on the WC's approval. And but Javier Fortuna will pretty much determine if this is going to happen or not, as well the WC. Fortuna has to approve, has to want the Ryan Garcia fight for this to happen. Who knows? It really depends on the money. What's the better offer? What's the better opportunity? What's the more winnable fight? Perhaps their team sees, sees Ryan as the more winnable fight, even though it may not be the more lucrative fight since Ryan is still not a champion. And this fight will be for a title. So a lot to consider here, a lot to decide. But I'm, I'm on board for this fight. I like the fight. It'll be, Leonard, it'll be Devin Haney's best fight to date, best opponent. And he'll have, he'll have an opportunity to prove that he's a legitimate top lightweight with a good performance here. A statement make a performance. Let's see if this is going to go down for April of 2021. Good fight. Wouldn't be surprised if Linares can pull off an upset here. Most likely will be no more than a 3-to-1 dog in this fight. But we'll see if it happens. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.